South Africa's unemployment rate fell for a second consecutive quarter despite widespread power cuts and devastating floods, according to Stats SA. Between April and June, jobless rate declined by 0.6% uh, to 33.9%, uh, the official data agency said. Stats SA said there was a net quarterly gain of 60, 648,000 jobs with the biggest increases in community and social services, trade finance and construction. In South Africa, the rate of inflation increased for a third consecutive month as underlying price pressures increased. In contrast to the 7.4% increase in June, headline consumer price index increased to 7.8% from a year earlier, according to a statement on the Statistics South Africa website. That matched the median estimate of 14 economists. Joining us to discuss further, uh, China Zhou Enwezo, who is an analyst with Financial Derivatives Company Limited. Uh, China Zhou, you're very welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So, look, what, what, when, when one asks... What's the cause of these high unemployment rates in South Africa? What's your take on that? South Africa has been on the receiving end since the financial crisis of um, 2008, 2008 to 2009. Yeah. It's affected global jobs and reduced unemployment rates globally. So we can also add the effect, the after effect of the COVID-19 restriction, which led to um, which led to halting businesses for about a year, yeah. and also translates to reducing unemployment. Translating this to um, the South African economy, yeah. you can see that unemployment rate has been dropping for the longest time, yeah. and also trade, streamlining it to domestic factors. Yeah. The flooding that happened um, at the Eastern Cape Town yeah. reduced um, productivity in the Durban um, seaport, right. which also affects unemployment. Mm. So all this aggregated affects unemployment. Mm, so it will keep reducing until all these factors are attended to. Okay, uh, but so you think it can be sustained as far as this drop? I think it was a 0.6% drop, decent, uh, along with the other measures you mentioned, but can it be maintained or sustained? The improvement, the slight improvements can be maintained if the factors that cause the unemployment are attended to. Mm. So if the if the government provides jobs for the unemployed youth, if the government reduces the grants that are given to the youths that stay at home and are not are no longer interested in seeking for jobs, then they can increase employment. Okay. Uh, inflation seven point eight percent is still rising. Um, what what are the triggers as far as what we're seeing in South Africa with inflation rising? The inflation triggers can be traced to um, the transport prices, the transport costs, and the food prices. Those are the major drivers of the inflation rate. So, um, fall so far has increased since the Ukrainian invasion of, since the Russian invasion of um, Ukraine. Transport prices have been increasing, food prices have been increasing, which caused um, consumers to increase for, to demand for more money to purchase these goods, which translates to inflation. Now, they've uh, hiked rates three or four times um, as far as the, the, the impact uh, is, is concerned. Um, do you think that these rate hikes are having... <laughs> well, I think the answer would be no, <laughs> since the interest inflation is rising. But what do you make of the impact of the monetary policy on trying to you know, keep inflation in place? I believe the, the spikes in interest rates has been um, very much ineffective. Yeah. As as they sh as um, as to how they should be, yeah, yeah. because of the um, nature of the unemployment of the of inflation in right. South Africa. Mm. So uh, South Africa has um, cost push inflation, which is a supply side inflation caused by increased price of goods and services as a result of increased cost of production. Yeah. So spikes in interest interest rates will be less effective in curbing this um, inflation. And you think the battle against you know, unemployment, the battle against inflation, I guess short-term, long-term, how do you think South Africa can cope? South Africa can cope if they are able to um, supply energy, um, yeah, address well, the energy crisis, <laughs> yeah, okay. address the energy crisis, yeah. um, provide infrastructure to cater for the increased um, cost of production and allow the producers to sell at the minimum, minimum rates mm. they should be selling to the consumers. Yeah. Look, we'll keep our fingers crossed. It's, uh, it's, it's dicey out there. All these African nations are dealing with so much. But we appreciate you joining us uh, to thank talk you. about the latest in South Africa. China Zo, uh, Inwezo, analyst with Financial Derivatives Company Limited. Thank you so much.